Have you ever wondered what secrets the airlines are keeping from you? From in-flight turbulence to whether you should board the plane first or last, in this video, we will share 20 little-known flight secrets that will leave you feeling like an airline insider. Flight attendants, prepare for takeoff. Have you ever looked out the window during turbulence and noticed the wings bending? Don't fret, that's actually by design. The wings of an aircraft aren't rigid like a steel beam, they're designed to be flexible. As the aircraft encounters turbulence, the wings are allowed to flex, not excessively, but within safe limits. This flexing is a result of intentional engineering that permits controlled deformation. This not only enhances passenger comfort, but also prevents structural damage. Have you ever wondered how pilots ensure a smooth landing, even in varying weather conditions? Complex auto braking systems use a combination of sensors, computer algorithms, and the aircraft's onboard computers to determine the optimal amount of braking force needed for the current landing conditions. Whether it's a clear day with perfect visibility or a rainy afternoon, these systems are always ready to work their magic, guaranteeing you a safe and pleasant arrival. Have you ever marveled at the sheer strength and efficiency of modern airplanes? Imagine a material that's as light as a feather yet tougher than steel. Enter carbon fiber composites, the revolutionary materials that have redefined the aviation landscape. Carbon fiber composites are meticulously crafted layers of carbon fibers embedded in resin. The result? A material that defies expectations, offering incredible strength and rigidity while remaining astonishingly lightweight. By utilizing carbon fiber composites, airlines are able to construct aircraft that are significantly lighter than their predecessors. This reduction in weight translates to enhanced fuel efficiency, a win for both airlines and the environment. Additionally, lighter planes require less power to stay aloft, which can result in smoother flights and reduced turbulence. Ah, the air you breathe during your flight, a topic that might have crossed your mind once or twice, especially in recent years. You might have assumed that cabin air is simply recirculated, but the reality is quite refreshing. Airlines ensure a continuous flow of fresh air into the cabin from the outside environment. Before this air reaches your lungs, it undergoes an impressive filtration journey. It's not just about bringing in air, it's about ensuring that the air is clean, free from contaminants, and of the highest quality. Accordingly, the air passes through advanced filtration systems that trap particles like dust, allergens, and even microorganisms. This process guarantees that the air you breathe is far cleaner than the air you encounter in many other public spaces. Turbulence generally stirs up some questions and concerns, but fear not, turbulence isn't as perilous as it may seem. Turbulence occurs due to changes in wind speed and direction at different altitudes. Pilots study weather reports, analyze radar data, and tap into their years of flying expertise to anticipate turbulence and choose routes that offer smoother skies. Now here's the golden question. Is there any real risk to passengers when the aircraft encounters turbulence? Turbulence might rattle your cup of coffee, but it's unlikely to jeopardize your safety. Modern aircraft are built to withstand a wide range of forces, including those encountered during turbulence. So, the next time you feel a bit of turbulence, remember that it's a natural phenomenon that pilots and aircraft are well-equipped to handle. The term lavatory comes from the Latin word lavare, which means to wash. It's a more formal term for a restroom or bathroom, often used in aviation and other formal settings. To conserve space and manage waste, most aircraft lavatories use a vacuum waste disposal system. This system uses suction to remove waste from the toilet bowl and transfer it to an onboard waste tank. You might be wondering, where does it all go? The process is much more straightforward and controlled than you might imagine. Once the waste is drawn from the toilet bowl, it is transported through a network of pipes using the vacuum created by the system. 
compressed air assists in propelling the waste through these pipes and into a sealed waste tank located within the aircraft's fuselage. These tanks are specially designed to store waste safely and hygienically, maintaining the comfort and well-being of both passengers and crew. Contrary to popular belief, lavatory waste doesn't simply get ejected into the open sky during flight. Airlines adhere to strict regulations and guidelines to ensure responsible waste disposal. Once the aircraft lands, ground crews handle the disposal process in an environmentally responsible manner. The waste is properly treated and disposed of, following established protocols that prioritize safety and hygiene. Picture this. You're looking out the window during a thunderstorm and suddenly, the sky ignites with a burst of lightning. But what happens when that lightning interacts with an airplane soaring through the atmosphere? Airplanes and lightning have a fascinating relationship, and here's the secret. They're designed to coexist. Aircraft are engineered to withstand the forces of a lightning strike and guide that electrical energy safely away. Airplanes are constructed using conductive materials that have the remarkable ability to disperse electrical energy. Imagine these materials as invisible pathways that guide the lightning's energy around the aircraft's exterior, reducing the risk of damage. Now, let's address the elephant in the room, or in this case, the sky. Is there any risk to passengers when lightning strikes? Rest assured, passengers and aircraft are well protected. The energy from lightning is harmlessly redirected and passengers remain unaffected. But the magic doesn't stop at passengers. It extends to avionics and fuel tanks. These critical components are carefully shielded to ensure lightning's energy doesn't interfere with their functionality. When it comes to cabin cleanliness, airlines don't cut corners. Flight crews clean and sanitize every nook and cranny of the airplane. Tray tables, armrests, and seat belts are wiped down, and lavatories are disinfected to a hospital-grade level of cleanliness. It's a meticulous process that ensures not a speck of dust or a trace of germs lingers. But why go to such lengths? Airlines recognize that maintaining a hygienic cabin is essential for your well-being. By eradicating germs and keeping surfaces clean, they contribute to your comfort and peace of mind throughout the flight. Have you ever pondered the array of boarding methods airlines employ, from back-to-front to, to zone-based? Back-to-front boarding minimizes aisle congestion and accelerates the process, while zone-based boarding provides families and those in need with early access. Regardless of the boarding sequence, the ultimate aim remains unchanged to usher everyone onto the aircraft smoothly and without commotion. A surprising answer emerges from research. Boarding last can prove advantageous, particularly if you travel light. By avoiding the boarding frenzy, you increase the odds of finding convenient overhead bin space near your seat. Furthermore, some passengers opt for the last call to minimize contact and exposure to others, especially in times when health concerns are paramount. Additionally, in the event of delays or maintenance hiccups, boarding last might save you from enduring lengthy waits aboard the plane. Of course, the benefits of boarding first also warrant consideration. Seeking peace of mind that your carry-on secures a spot? Boarding early could be your solution. Beyond that, being among the initial passengers guarantees a tranquil settling process without the hustle and bustle of fellow travelers streaming past. If you require additional time or assistance, such as traveling with children or needing mobility support, boarding first ensures you find your comfort zone. And for those who harbor a seat preference, an early boarding pass could be your golden ticket to your chosen spot. Ultimately, the verdict resides in personal inclinations. In the rare event of cabin depressurization, oxygen masks drop from overhead compartments. What you might not know is that the cabin is pressurized to simulate an altitude of around 6,000 to 8,000 feet. By pressurizing the cabin at this level, airlines can provide passengers with a relatively comfortable experience while also ensuring the aircraft's structural integrity and optimizing fuel consumption. While pressurizing the cabin to sea level would provide a more comfortable experience for passengers, 
it would place significantly more stress on the aircraft's structure, which would require it to be built stronger and heavier. This would ultimately impact fuel efficiency and operational costs. So even though the air is a bit thinner, you've got plenty of breathable oxygen to keep you feeling just fine. The black box isn't actually black. It's brilliantly orange, a beacon of hope after a crash. This vibrant color aids recovery even in challenging conditions, ensuring crucial data can be retrieved and analyzed. The black box is composed of two instruments, the flight data recorder and the cockpit voice recorder. The flight data recorder logs flight parameters like airspeed and altitude, while the cockpit voice recorder captures cockpit conversations, providing a comprehensive view of events. But here's the marvel. It's not just any box. The black box is designed to withstand extreme forces and temperatures. Its sturdy casing, often made of titanium or steel, survives catastrophic crashes. Inside, insulation protects delicate electronics. In a world of what-ifs, the black box stands as an aviation safety guardian. We will be flying an instrument approach into San Francisco. In the cockpit, pilots employ a special language known as aviation phonetics, not just a secret code, but a fundamental communication tool. Amid high-stress scenarios where clarity is paramount, aviation phonetics ensures crystal clear communication. Instead of B getting lost in the noise, pilots say bravo, ensuring everyone's on the same page. Aviation phonetics isn't a secret handshake, it's a global language. Alpha Bravo Charlie resonates worldwide, guaranteeing consistent and effective communication. It's a universal code that transcends borders, allowing pilots to navigate and communicate seamlessly. Beyond letters, pilots use phonetics for numbers. Five becomes Fife. Nine transforms into Niner, ensuring digits are crisply communicated. Just like an airborne secret code, aviation phonetics unites pilots in a language that transcends skies and continents. Aircraft weight is more than just numbers on a scale. It's a delicate equilibrium that impacts the entire flight operation. For example, a mid-sized commercial aircraft like the Boeing 737 has an average takeoff weight of approximately 120,000 to 170,000 pounds for a short to medium haul flight with around 150 to 180 passengers on board. This weight includes the aircraft's structure, engines, passengers, baggage, cargo, and fuel. At the core of weight management lies fuel efficiency. Airlines take into account the anticipated flight duration, distance, weather conditions, and altitude to determine the precise amount of fuel needed. This calculation minimizes excess weight while ensuring that the aircraft has enough fuel for the journey. Fuel dumping is a specialized maneuver that comes into play during exceptional circumstances. Fuel dumping is typically initiated during critical emergencies when the aircraft's weight exceeds safe landing limits. This might include situations where the aircraft needs to land sooner than planned due to a medical emergency or technical issue. Landing with a full fuel load can put excessive stress on the aircraft's landing gear, tires, and structure. Fuel dumping helps reduce the aircraft's weight to within safe landing limits. Have you ever wondered how an airplane's landing gear handles those thumps and bumps? These components aren't just passive bystanders. They're specifically engineered to withstand the impact forces generated during landing. The engineering behind landing gear is a blend of strength, flexibility, and durability. Landing gear is designed to absorb and distribute the enormous forces generated when the aircraft makes contact with the ground. It's a complex system of shock absorbers, struts, wheels, and tires that work in harmony to cushion the impact. Aircraft landing gear undergoes rigorous testing to ensure it can withstand a range of conditions, from gentle landings to more challenging scenarios. The goal is to guarantee that the landing gear will hold up even under the most demanding circumstances. So, the next time you experience a seamless touchdown, know that it's the result of a blend of cutting-edge engineering and testing that ensures your safety.
Ah, that moment when you feel a slight pressure change in your ears as the aircraft ascends or descends, it's a hallmark of air travel. But have you ever wondered why it happens? As the aircraft changes altitude, the surrounding air pressure also changes. This leads to a temporary imbalance between the air pressure inside your ears and the pressure outside. That sensation you feel is your ears adjusting to this change. Yawning, chewing gum, sipping water, or swallowing can help equalize the pressure in your ears. This encourages the eustachian tubes to open, allowing air to flow in or out. Gently pinching your nose and blowing through it can also help regulate pressure in your ears. By employing these techniques, you can significantly reduce the ear pop sensation and make your flight more comfortable. At the heart of predictive maintenance lies the marvel of data analytics. Airlines collect an array of data points from each aircraft's operations, ranging from engine performance to flight patterns. Using these troves of data, algorithms work tirelessly to detect patterns and anomalies that might indicate potential issues. By analyzing this data, airlines can predict when certain parts of an aircraft might require attention. The true brilliance of predictive maintenance emerges in its ability to address problems before they even manifest. Airlines can then schedule maintenance precisely when it's needed, proactively ensuring the aircraft's safety and reducing the likelihood of unexpected malfunctions mid-flight. With maintenance activities strategically timed, airlines can optimize their resources, reducing aircraft downtime and maximizing efficiency. Ever wonder why the cabin lighting transforms during your flight, creating distinct moods? It's not just for looks. Airlines adjust lighting to sync your internal clock with your destination's time zone, minimizing jet lag. Cabin lighting affects your circadian rhythms, the body's sleep-wake cycle regulator. By aligning lighting with the local time, airlines aim to ease your adjustment, making your travel experience smoother. Think of it as an in-flight time machine guiding your body to the new time zone. So the next time you notice the cabin lights shifting, know it's more than aesthetics. It's about enhancing your comfort and well-being. Flight attendants utilize a range of hand signals to communicate effectively in various situations. These signals include sweeping motions to indicate fastening seatbelts and crossed arms to signal closed doors during safety demonstrations. Thumbs-up gestures signify task completion, while pointing directs passengers to exits or facilities. Hand-raising is used to request assistance, and hands on hips might indicate passengers should stay seated. Hand signals also assist in tasks such as counting remaining passengers, signaling seat adjustments, or conveying emergency procedures. These nonverbal cues are vital for clear communication, especially in noisy environments or during emergencies ensuring efficient operations and passenger safety. Airlines manage baggage intricately through a series of processes and technologies. Baggage tags with barcodes enable tracking from check-in to destination, guiding bags through conveyor belt sorting and security screening. Baggage codes typically consist of a combination of letters and numbers and are encoded in a way that conveys specific information to airline staff and automated systems. Baggage codes are scanned at various points along the journey, including check-in, security, loading onto the aircraft, and transfers. These scans help track the bag's progress and ensure it's correctly loaded onto the right flight. As bags move along conveyor belts and through scanning stations, Automated systems ensure that they are directed to the appropriate flight and destination. In essence, baggage codes are like a digital passport for your luggage. They contain all the necessary information to ensure your bags are accurately routed, tracked, and delivered to your final destination. If you liked this video, please hit the like button and consider subscribing to our channel. See you in the next video.